Hey, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. This is kind of a two-parter. We've got two more pieces of this storm cycle to move through. First, a live view up at Alta. I mean, just a beautiful day. You can see some of the snow from the last storm system now melting. There's another one on the way here very shortly. In fact, there comes uh, the next piece. This cold front will be moving into Alta and the Wasatch by this afternoon tonight. Uh, and then the second piece up here in the Gulf of Alaska, the other arrow, that swirl of the clouds, that will sail in directly behind this, and that will mark the end of the cycle. But let's put this into motion. So this afternoon, you've got precip falling, Wasatch snow up into uh, Wyoming. All of this begins to move into western Colorado by uh, overnight and hours into uh, Tuesday morning. This is Tuesday at 5 a.m. It is snowing in the Tetons, the Wind Rivers, the Wasatch, um, all the way over to the uh, the high winds. By the time we move through the uh, the day on Tuesday, more of the precip moves into Colorado. Now the snow levels in Colorado initially start high at like nine, ten thousand. Then they fall during the course of Tuesday. By Tuesday night, they're probably down to seven or eight thousand. Still snowing on the backside by Tuesday night up in Wyoming and also over into Utah. By the time we get into Wednesday morning, the main storm is kind of moving away, but there's wraparound snows through Wyoming down into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Now look up towards the Pacific Northwest. That's the, the last piece of this. That's going to cruise in on this northwest flow, a very light flow, into the uh, Tetons and the Wasatch. Uh, and this is Thursday morning, so you've got snow falling there. And then eventually that moves into Colorado by Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. Snow levels with this one across the board will be lower. It's colder. The first storm carved out the trough, brought the colder air in on the upper levels. This one will take advantage of that. And you've got snow across Colorado all the way into Friday morning. Now by Friday morning, the snow on the backside is tapering off and drying out through the, the Tetons and the Wasatch, but still snowing over parts of Colorado. Another storm up there hitting the Pacific Northwest. You can see the blue up towards Whistler creeping into parts of uh, Banff. All right, let's talk accumulation. We'll do this in two stages. So the first piece of this storm system or this cold front will drop snow. Uh, so let's look at the totals through uh, Wednesday. You can see the numbers. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. 6 to 12 there from Kings Peak, Park City, Alta, Snowbird, and Colorado. 3, 4, 5, 6 inches. 5, 6 inches up there in Big Sky, Bridger Bowl. Even Brian Head getting in on the action. Uh, and then the second piece. These are the grand totals right here. By Friday morning, we're looking at grand totals of probably 6 to 10 inches in Colorado. Um, we've added a few more across the Wasatch Front into the High Uinas. Add a little bit more in Wyoming and Montana, and now we're starting to see some of the numbers in the Pacific Northwest tick up. So a good pattern here. This is good stuff for, what is this, the 11th of October. Appreciate you tuning in here, as always, and uh, take care and have a great day.